Hello everyone. Today I am back with another t-shirt design. Today I am going to make a basketball t-shirt design again. Now for this one I am going to use this basketball here. This player silhouettes. This is from Freepik and this is the text I am going to use in this design. Now for this design I am going to create a sunset style effect here. But I want to create this ball kind of theme here. So as you can see this is the basketball colors. This is the darker orange kind of color and the lighter orange. So I am going to create this same effect here. And for creating that I need to rectangle first of all. So something like this. This one I am going to make darker. Sorry for that I need to pick this darker color okay that is hard to select there let's ungroup them so that i can select my this okay you can see this is the they are using some opacity effect here this one is multiplied here that's why it is showing like that color but i cannot pick that color so there is a quick fix i am using light shot app here just to take a screenshot then i can simply Press I for eyedropper and click here and then select this one, click here. So that's how easily I just created that two color. Now for this one here I am going to like, okay let's keep them grouped together or something like this, that is good. Now this is going to be my two rectangle here, this one of course in a bit smaller size, this one bigger. So that much is good. You know how to make this kind of designs. I have done this a lot of time. So I am selecting this two rectangle here. Then I am using my blend tool from this toolbar. Now if I click here and on click here. It is going to blend. Just like this. Then again I am going to use my specified steps option here. So maybe a bit smaller. 8, eight blocks is good. Click OK. Now there are 8 different blocks to blend like from this size to this size and this color to this color that is good now i am expanding it because whenever we are applying an effect we need to expand that so expand them like this now if i double click i can come inside the group here then if i click on this button here horizontal distribute space we can see sorry it is <laughs> vertical i always get confused about this vertical and horizontal so something like this or a bit more space between them yeah that much is good okay so that is good for me now i want to create that sunset effect here so i am making them like this a bit bigger in size okay let's make it smaller okay that much is good now i need a ellipse here to cut my these shapes now i am taking a ellipse something like this but I need to select them and align them on top just like this maybe center that is not important okay so this ellipse I will need this so I am going to first of all make a copy control C now if I select these two as my ellipse is on top and the rectangles are in the back I can go to pathfinder and then crop it is going to crop out the area and now I need that ellipse so that's why I am pressing control F2 Paste in front that ellipse in the exact same place. Now I am pressing shift X that will make my ellipse into a strokes. Let me increase the size a bit. Then I need to like make it a bit bigger, something like this. That is good. Now maybe okay, that is too much for my this this design. A bit smaller. Yeah, that much is good. Now I am pressing Ctrl C, Ctrl F again. That will copy this ellipse and paste in front of it i am making another copy here i am pressing shift and all together that will that increase the size in all the directions at, at once now this one a bit bigger in size maybe a bit bigger yeah that much is good and for this inside ellipse here i want to create some effect here so i am going to use my dash line here as you can see it is making like some dash but a bit i need a bit bigger in size Okay, this is looking like this. If I click on this round cap option, it is going to make it round cap. But a bit smaller in size maybe. Yeah, that much is good. That is the kind of stitch effect 
stage effect of the ball or something like that that is not so important here so this is the final sunset style effect i wanted to create here but i want to create give this total design a sunset style sorry a basketball style so that's why i needed this basketball here now if i double click i can come inside the ball group here and i only need this black lines so they are grouped together let's ungroup them okay so now i can take my this ball lines i'm pressing ctrl x to cut it that is good now i'm going to make everything a group here this ellipse and my rectangles ctrl g to group now if i open that transparency like this if i double click here and then clip i'm inside the transparency so i'm pressing ctrl v here not ctrl f this time because i didn't copy that from here if i press ctrl f it is going to paste in here so that is not my intention here so something like this just like this i want to place it something like this but i made a mistake here so let's press ctrl x to cut it if i click here i need to ungroup it because i don't want to make this two group only this rectangle group i need so i am selecting the rectangle group and then open the transparency i'm pressing ctrl f this time i'm pressing ctrl f because i want to place it exactly where it was before so it is looking like something like this i need to make sure that it is in complete black so if i click here it will be it will be complete black so it is looking something like this the basketball effect that i wanted to create so that is the part here now from this player silhouettes i can use on player so they are grouped together let's ungroup them i am going to use this player here so let's press ctrl x that is good i am selecting this rectangle group again and inside the transparency i will find this shape okay as you can see it is i need to fix this area and this part also so i am making it a bit bigger so that every end of the effect is like going outside outside edge of my design here so that is good now press ctrl v just to paste that player here i want to place him just like this a bit bigger in size okay for this one here i am just going to make sure hit his head and the ball is visible here if i just make it like this it is going to overlap with my lines and that is not good so something like this again make sure that everything is in black complete black so yeah that's it this is how i wanted to look him but for this area i want to make it a bit bigger maybe something like this yeah that much is good or a bit bigger in this direction maybe okay i want to just keep his head and this basketball out of the lines here something like this so this is my final graphic for this one here now for this area i am going to this is like going outside of my circle area so i'm pressing ctrl r for my ruler tool if i place a ruler here now i can select this one then i am going to take my add anchor point tool and with add anchor point tool i can click here and the same distance on that ellipse and that is what i'm going to do on this part also something like this and this so that is good now if i press a for my direct sorry a for my direct selection tool and select this two part and pressing delete for erasing okay sorry for that i clicked on the guide here maybe so first of all i need to lock my guides so that will not be selected now i can click here make sure that you are clicking on the right place because if i click on the guide it is going to add the anchor point on the guide and that is basically useless so now it will work if i select them i can erase them it is looking like kind of this but as you can see this one has the round cap so it is round here but this one not so if i select that stroke and make it round cap it is going to look like that so that is good for us now i don't need this guide anymore so let's unlock the guide then delete it so that much is good for me now 
for this text here I am going to use this champion text I am going to use a font called soccer league here maybe just okay or maybe we can use our same old font old sport athletic ncv this is the basketball kind of font you need to understand the fonts you can see my other videos about fonts okay so once these are placed in a perfect position i am going to make them a group so that will not move from its position now if i make it something like this i can simply align them center wise so that much is good let's break our font i don't need that to act like a font anymore so that is good okay before breaking our font this font is kind of too close to each other so let's increase the space between them a bit that much is good now i'm breaking it selecting it now we have two color transition here like i can select this one here okay maybe i can just expand it because i don't need it to act like a a stroke anymore so that is good now once it is expanded i can select this inside ellipse that dashed ellipse then press i for eyedropper and i can pick that color so that is now in two color this color and this color and for my text i want to create that same effect so i'm going to uh, selecting my text then go to object path and then offset path something like this or maybe a bit bigger yeah that much is good now press ok then go to pathfinder click on this unite so that is united i am pressing ctrl x and ctrl b now if i move them like rightwards and downwards something like this it is going to place in this area okay that is too much for my this design let me just change the colors if i make it this color i can see completely so this is the offset path option now i am selecting my text group again the black text go to object path and then offset path again and again make the same size stroke offset path click ok click on this unite button then ctrl x to cut now i am selecting my this red text i'm pressing ctrl f then again pressing shift and clicking on this red text so now my black version of the offset path and the orange version of the offset path is selected my original text you can see that is not selected here so when this two is selected i am inside yeah, in the pathfinder press alt and click on this minus front so it is going to create a effect like this now just go to object expand appearance that is good now this is the offset path option here or just i don't like it so let's select our text again maybe bring them a bit down that is good go to object path offset path this time i am going to okay let's keep it as it is i'm clicking here now if i make it unite like this that is good now pressing ctrl x to convert into a stroke maybe 10 pixel or a bit smaller something like this so that is looking like this maybe just erase that part i want to increase the space here so look carefully i am increasing the space of on letter then if i select everything here i can click on this option here horizontal distribute space it is going to distribute the space between the all the text so that is good now i am going to again go to path offset path the same size stroke okay now if i unite them press ctrl x to press shift x to convert into a stroke now maybe make it 10 pixel so that much is good for me I don't need them to act like a stroke anymore so let's expand it now for the stroke option i am going to pick this color and for my original text i am going to this part here this black text option okay this is i made a mistake here so i am selecting my magic one tool to select all the black from here then press ctrl x to cut it now if i press ctrl f it is going to paste in exact same place and i am making them a group so that is good picking eyedropper to pick that color so that much is good for me now if you just want to do some advanced level i am going to erase some of these parts from here okay sorry for that basically it makes a compound path so i need to erase it 
something like this these areas are just blocking my text so I am just erasing it because I cannot delete that that becomes a compound part ok guys so this is my final design for this one now let's take a look how it is looking so I am making everything a group here or just I can select these two group these two text make them a group first then select the both group and align them center wise you can see this is now centered and now I am making everything a group so that is good taking a rectangle just like this ctrl x ctrl b to paste in back so as you can see this is how my final graphic is looking so this is how easily you can create a basketball kind of design and with a cool looking basketball effect yet it, it's in vintage sunset style so i hope you, you will learn something new from this one and keep practicing guys it doesn't matter how many videos you are watching how many hours of videos you have you are watching with tutorials just do some practice because without practicing anyone is not no one is going to get better so do some practice see you in the next video guys have a great time thank you everyone